Thoughtful, decisive, celebrated. And some say gone too soon. Samora Moses Mashal was independent Mozambique's first president. In 1975, Mozambique freed itself from the shackles of Portuguese rule. Mashal was born in 1933 and lived with his parents who battled poverty. The family farm was taken away by Portuguese settlers, forcing his dad to find work in South Africa's mines. He studied to become a nurse but still involved himself in the liberation struggle. In 1962, he joined Free Limo, the front for the liberation of Mozambique, dedicated to creating an independent country. By 1970, Mashal was a commander-in-chief and five years later, the country's leader. But more than a decade later, he was gone. On the night of October 19, 1986, Samora died. His death left a nation devastated. His charisma, ideologies and decisive legacy is still respected and admired. So dramatic in, in, in his interaction with people. I don't think anyone who ever attended a meeting at which he was at or even a room in which he entered could help but feel that electricity that he carried with him. But I think a lot of it had to do as well with his ability to learn from, from the struggle and, and, and to develop positions that, that made sense and, and communicated messages that in Southern Africa were very important to communicate. Two years before his death, Marshall signed a controversial pact with the apartheid regime. The agreement committed Mozambique to expel ANC leaders from its country in return for South Africa to seize support of Rinamo rebels, Frilimo's opposition. It is very difficult to say. While Marshall's death is shrouded in mystery, his words still echo in the hearts of many Mozambican people as he remains a symbol of resistance and hope. News that moves. ENCA.com